Action. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Corbett, I, I wanted to send you my condolences on the death of your son, and I know it's been eight months since the accident, but I'm sure it's still hard for you to be reminded of that day. I think about what happened a lot, as I'm sure you do too. And I, I've just been, I've been having some troubles at school and at home, and a couple people thought it might be a good idea if I write to you. I'm sorry if this letter upsets you. That's obviously not my intention. Even though I never knew Danny, I did read that article in the town paper and was happy to learn just a little bit about him. It sounds like he was a great kid. I'm sure you miss him a lot, as you said in the article. But I especially liked the part where Mr. Corbett talked about Danny's robots. When I was his age, I was a big fan of robots too. In fact, I, I still am in some ways. I've also enclosed a short story that's going to be printed in my high school literary magazine. I don't know if you like science fiction or not, but I've enclosed it anyways. I was hoping to dedicate the story to Danny's memory. It, this one doesn't include robots, but I think it would be the type of story he'd like if you were my age. Would it bother you if I dedicated the story? If so, please let me know. The printer deadline for the paper is March 31st. If you tell me before then, I can have them take it off. I know that none of this probably makes things any better. I just wanted you to know how terrible I feel about Danny. I know that no matter how hard this has been on me, I can never understand the depth of your loss. My mom has only told me that about a hundred times. I just wanted you to know how sorry I am that things happened the way they did. And that I just wish I had driven down a different goddamn block that day. I'm sure you do too. Anyways, I think that's it for now. If you'd like to let me know about the dedication, you can email me at the address above. If I don't hear from you, I assume it's okay. Sincerely, Jason Willett.